legendary aerospace company Lockheed Martin recently merged its F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter with the impressive 25mm GAU-22A Gatling gun, creating a powerful weapon of devastating potential. Several tests have been carried out, with mixed results. While the objective is for the gun to support the aircraft for a more precise execution in air-to-air -air strikes and close air support for ground troops, a never-ending list of setbacks has diminished the impact of the engineering feat. And even though many experts question the program, its supporters are determined to push the F-35 with its new Gatling gun to its highest potential. Mix and match. The gun airborne unit 22A Gatling gun is meant to re-signify the multi-role F-35 fighter, enabling it to perform more effectively in air-to-air -air strikes and to closely support ground missions from the air. The weapon has undergone several years of development. In 2015, it was successfully test-fired, and the Pentagon released a statement saying that, quote, this milestone was the first in a series of test flights to functionally evaluate the in-flight operation of the F-35A's internal 25mm gun throughout its employment envelope. Over the course of three months, the gun successfully completed the first phase of test execution aimed at verifying the piece's integration. According to the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter Office, this phase comprised 13 ground gunfire events. More recently, a second phase took place focusing on the integration of the gun into the airframe in a variety of flight conditions as the weapon is engineered into the F-35 in a way that allows stealth performance. The 25mm weapon has four barrels and is specifically designed for rapid fire. This allows for showering an enemy with gunfire and destroying targets as quickly as possible. According to its developer, General Dynamics, the gun can fire 3,300 rounds per minute, rendering the aircraft much more destructive on a battlefield. The Joint Strike Fighter Office explained, quote, Three bursts of one thirty rounds and two sixty rounds each were fired from the aircraft's four-barrel 25mm Gatling gun. In integrating the weapon into the stealthy F-35A airframe, the gun must be kept hidden behind closed doors to reduce its radar cross-section until the trigger is pulled. Furthermore, the Gatling is planned to be integrated with the aircraft software to allow the pilot to recognize targets and engage them using a helmet-mounted display. In addition, the F-35 Lightning II is already the most advanced fighter created by Lockheed Martin. The fighter is an all-weather, multi-role stealth aircraft crafted for air superiority and strike missions, and is equipped with advanced avionics and keen electronic warfare, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities. It also features a single seat and a single engine. Although the F-35 already had an impressive weapons load, the new Gatling gun will turn the model into an astonishing breakthrough in engineering. By early 2020, the airframe underwent a specialized round of combat testing in a high-fidelity simulator. The testing comprised 64 exercises that replicated the most challenging air defenses in the Far East, including Russia, China, North Korea, and Iran. Inconveniences The F-35 program has already cost over $400 billion and still has several unresolved problems, including roughly 800 software flaws. One of its major problems is that the Gatling gun mounted inside the F-35A model can't shoot straight, but the Air Force models also have unacceptable accuracy when hitting ground targets. Moreover, the mount that houses the weapons is cracking. On the annual assessment by Robert Beller, the Department of Defense Director of Operational Test and Evaluation, no significant new failings were disclosed. However, a comprehensive list of issues details several complications to be resolved, especially 13 Category 1 items that directly affect safety or combat capability. It also states that all these problems must be fixed before another 22 billion are injected into the F-35 program in its upcoming phase. The assessment reads, quote, Although the program office is working to fix deficiencies, new discoveries are still being made, resulting in only a minor decrease in the overall number. Additionally, several cybersecurity vulnerabilities were identified, along with reliability, availability, and maintenance system issues. 
Despite these problems and the unfinished testing, the F-35's purchases have only accelerated, including from the Pentagon, which requested over 50 examples in the last five years. The international market has also attracted customers like Poland, Singapore, Japan, Australia, and Great Britain. Hundreds of fighters have been delivered and will require extensive retrofitting. Brett Ashworth, a spokesman for Lockheed, commented, quote, The F-35 continues to mature and is the most lethal, survivable, and connected fighter in the world. Meanwhile, the Air Force and Navy versions still have cracks in structural components. All F-35 models are equipped with the Gatling gun. The Navy and Marine versions have it mounted externally with acceptable accuracy. But the Air Force model has the gun mounted internally and is misaligned, not meeting the specifications. The testing office currently considers its accuracy unacceptable. Consequently, the Air Force has been forced to restrict the gun's use, and despite mild progress to improve its accuracy, the weapon hasn't been tested yet. An official statement stated that, quote, the effect on F-35 service life and the need for additional inspection requirements are still being determined. Incident. In early 2021, a Marine Corps F-35B suffered a severe mishap. The F-35B is the second of three variants and is configured for short takeoff and vertical landing. This structure enables it to fight from airstrips on land and carry out amphibious attacks at sea. All three versions, however, are equipped with the Gatling gun. The Marine Corps' F-35B model was the first one to fly into combat after the aircraft became operational. The fighter launched from the amphibious assault ship USS Essex and served in Afghanistan in 2018. On March 12th, an F-35B was conducting a night mission near the Marine Corps Air Station Yuma in Arizona when a round fired from its own 25mm GAU-22A Gatling gun exploded soon after launching the externally mounted weapon. The fifth generation fighter was performing a gunnery exercise, and when the semi-armor-piercing high-explosive incendiary tracer exploded, it caused fragmentation damage to the fuselage. Despite the damage, the aircraft was able to land safely, and no one was injured. Still, the incident was deemed Class A, the most severe classification out of four levels, and it cost no less than $2.5 million. An F-35B pilot can empty the magazine in roughly four seconds with a mere 220 rounds. Besides, a tracer round leaves a visual trail, so the pilot can keep track and adjust fire. While the F-35A's internal guns have proved more problematic, it's unclear why the round exploded right after exiting the barrel, and the incident remains under investigation. The Future The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter has become the most expensive weapon program in U.S. military history, continually raising questions over its value. After several development setbacks, the chairman of the House Armed Service Committee, Adam Smith, demanded that they should, quote, stop throwing money down that particular rat hole. As of March of 2021, the estimated lifetime cost of the fighter was around $1.7 trillion. Smith inquired, quote, what does the F-35 give us? And is there a way to cut our losses? However, the military still stands for the fifth generation fighter. As the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit's commanding officer concluded, quote, the F-35B defines shock and awe. The speed that we can conduct precision strikes with devastating effects while providing close air support to our Marines is nothing shy of awesome. Thank you for watching our video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it, and let us know in the comments below if you'd like to see a particular topic within our content. Also, don't forget to subscribe to all our Dark Documentaries channels.